Hey guys, welcome to another installment of Martial Law with me, Marshall Sutcliffe. Now the whole point of these is to try to get you better at playing Magic. We know that there's a lot of you out there that are looking to improve, and that's what my goal is for each one of these. The lesson that we're going to look at today, I think, is one, it, it changed the way that I think about the game, and I hope it does for you. It's called BCSM, Best Case Scenario Mentality. Now, what this describes is the tendency for players to take a small sample size of a card, like maybe just having played it one time, have it perform very well for them, and then they assume that it will always do that. This is a mistake, and we're gonna explore that today. So let's take a look at our first example. It's one that I like to use for this a lot. It's Fog. Now, Fog's been around since Alpha. We, everybody's familiar with Fog, prevent all combat damage, and it can be a very valuable trick. The thing to remember, though, is, and this is the example that I'm gonna use, let's say, that we have a player named Jimmy, and he's playing at FNM. And I'm gonna use Limited to frame this because, well, because I love Limited. And he decides to pick Fog in an M13 draft, and he's in a tight race situation against his opponent. He plays Fog at just the right moment, and as a result, he wins the game. Now, his natural reaction might be, wow, Fog is fantastic, this card's so powerful. It actually won me an entire game of Magic, and he could go for the whole rest of the format drafting Fog and put it in his deck, and even if it never won him another game, he never revisits that. And that's what we're gonna look at here with best case scenario mentality. So why don't we take a look at our next slide. It's Scatter Arc. Now this is another example along a similar vein. Scatter Arc has a place, it's usually in your sideboard, but it does have a place. It's three and a blue to counter target non-creature spell and draw a card. The text box is powerful. Uh, countering a non-creature spell is very handy, and drawing a card is fantastic. Maybe my three favorite words in all of Magic. But Jimmy maybe plays Scatter Arc the first time. He counters a key removal spell, and he draws his card, and he says, this card is great. He never goes back to reevaluate. Every card in Magic has a range of utility a point at which it's good and a point at which it's bad, but some of them are skewed towards the good end, some towards the bad, and some, like Fog, are on both ends. Sometimes it's the worst card in your deck, and other times it's the best. And the key is to recognize that there's a range of that. Let's take a look at our next slide for a card that falls more in the middle to the upper end. It's Grizzly Spectacle. Now this is from Gate Crash. We've been seeing some of these casts today, and I'm sure we'll see some more tomorrow. It destroys almost any creature that you want for four mana. Now, most games of Magic, you will hit four mana, and so you will therefore likely be able to cast a Grizzly Spectacle. It's going to kill a creature that you need to kill at some point during the course of the game. This is very good. Now, what's the worst case for this card? It's not that bad. You're gonna be able to cast it most of the time, and what that means is its average case is actually quite high. So this is a card that you probably won't win the game off of that often. It doesn't quite have that high of a level, but it's almost always going to be good. Let's take a look at our next card, Sky Knight Legionnaire. Now this one falls in much the same category that Grizzly Spectacle does. It's a great card and on turn three, but on turn six or seven, it's still pretty good. You know, it affects the board, it can block, it can attack, it can, uh, it can be a, a, a source of recursive damage to, to kill your opponent with. And even if it's not quite as good on turn seven as it is on turn three, it always positively affects the outcome of the game almost no matter what. Whether you're losing, whether you're winning, whether there's a board stall, you don't mind having a Sky Knight Legionnaire. If you have a card like a Fog, not so much the case. Now, the keys that I want you to take away from this BCS, BCSM lesson are that you want to play a card, take your evaluation of it as you have played it, but remember that that isn't the end. There's a lot of scenarios that you didn't experience, and, but what you can do is you can ask your friends, you can talk to people that are better than you at Magic, or you can just imagine, what if I was way ahead? What if I'm looking to beat my opponent down? Is this the card that I want to have in my hand or I want to draw off the top of my deck? So what that means is you're going to be able to form a bigger picture on where the card actually lies, and you'll know when it's appropriate to play it and when it's not. I hope this was helpful to you. If you take this lesson, I'm confident you will improve your magic game. I'm Marshall Sutcliffe. This was Martial Law, and I'm signing off from the Tournament Center.